Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're doing the first update in the Panning Solitaire Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Erin M. This is um, what she created as the Pan That Palette for 2020 in collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies. They are a Facebook group. I am not a member of Pantastic Ladies, but they come up with so many just really creative and interesting panning projects that you should really check them out because it's just a really interesting collaborative group. I'm just not on Facebook. <laughs> but um, Erin M created this. As I said, I will make sure to link her in the description box down below. She's a fantastic panner and a very creative person. I really enjoy watching her videos. And if you enjoy my videos, then you will probably enjoy hers as well. Essentially what we're doing is we are choosing a different set of eyeshadows to correlate with each letter, letter, each card in a suit of cards to pan that solitaire. So I have my ace, my deuce, and my three card that I'm currently working on. So let's go ahead and take a look at my progress. So for my ace, I have a single shadow by JD Glow. This is in the shade Unexpected. It is absolutely amazing. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. I do have a little bit of a dip going on in there. It is what I'm wearing all over my lids. It is so, so stunning. So stunning. I've only worn it twice since the introduction. I just, I have a hard time justifying using it, which is honestly one of the reasons that I pulled it into this project. I only want to hit pan on this particular shade, but I also don't want to waste it in a sense. I mean, I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> um, not only are we in quarantine, but my husband and I are actually relocking down. Um, my child's daycare had a confirmed case. In their correspondence to us, they said that our child was not in direct contact with whoever it was that tested positive, but we immediately just sort of seized up and he has not been back to daycare since, so we're holding him home. So not only am I not going anywhere, I'm really not going anywhere, and it just feels slightly wasteful to put on this just amazing shadow just to sit on my couch. Now, if I'm filming, I'm talking to all of you guys and you guys can appreciate the absolute stunning quality of this shadow so it doesn't feel like so much a waste. But I have used it twice since the last update. I don't think it will be too overly challenging to hit pan on it. It's a very creamy sort of formula and it just, uh, it's gorgeous. I will stop gushing, I promise. So for my duo, I have this little mini here. This is um, a little duo from Pixie by Petra. I think I got this in like a Ipsy or something. And I've been using this guy somewhat frequently. I think you might be able to tell in the kind of darker shade that there is some good wear going on there. I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but I have been using this one pretty consistently. I've been using that darker brown in my crease. I know it's kind of a um, shimmer, shimmery -er shade. It's not a full on like shimmer shimmer, like the counterpart, the lighter one, but it does have some sheen to it. Those are what they look like right there. And honestly, I don't mind having a shimmer in the crease, to be quite honest with you. I know there are a lot of purists out there who say, oh, don't do that. <laughs> and honestly, when it comes to makeup, to each their own, I respect how people like to use their makeup. And I'm totally fine with putting shimmers and satins in my crease, depending on the shade itself. So that's how I've been getting a lot of use from it. The lighter shade, the shade right here, this one is the one that I'm struggling with a little bit. It is too light to just go all over the lid by itself. I just don't like the way that it looks on my complexion. 
but it's not bright enough to use as like an inner corner highlight. So I'm still working on how I like to use that one the best. The lighter side, so this side right here, I used a total of seven times since the last update, and the darker shade I've used a total of 12 times since the past update. So, or not even update, that was my intro video. I jumped on this bandwagon a little late in the year. It is my goal to actually use this guy up entirely. It is a lofty goal for me, especially as slowly as I pan and the fact that I am working on other eyeshadows and other projects. But I'm in it for the long haul. I really want to use this guy up entirely and get it out of my collection. Um, I love project panning, as you've probably noticed if you've been around my channel for any length of time. But there's a big difference between hitting pan on a product and actually completing a product. So I, I really want to make strides at actually finishing things to move them out of my collection. I hope that makes sense. So on to my three card, and that is my little mini Smashbox trio. This is what we are currently looking like. This is in the style Snap Queen. It's really, really pretty, and I've been using it a lot. Um, I used the really light shimmery side, which is the largest side. I used that a total of eight times. I was hoping that it was more of a satin sort of shade so that I could use that to set down my eye base. It is much too shimmery for that, so I've only done that a couple of times. Normally what I use this shade for is a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. If that's how I maintain using it, this side will take quite a while to go through. This sort of medium shade here, I used that a total of four times. That's just for me a crease shade. And then the darker shade here on the bottom, I've used that a total of four times since the last update. So I feel like we're going pretty strong on this guy. Just like with my Deuce, I do want to use this up completely. Being that they are, for the most part, smaller shadows, I feel like that is an attainable goal. Let me give you some swatches so that you can see what we're working with here. In case you're wondering, this is what I have in addition to that JD Glow shadow. Um, this is what I have to accompany it. So just as I've described, I have this shimmerier shade here. That is what I have as my brow bone and my inner corner highlight. I have this shade right here up in my crease and then the darker shade in my outer V and use smudged out on my lower lash line as kind of a liner sort of feel to it. So no real discernible dips other than in the JD Glow and on the sort of darker side of that duo. This is gonna be a long haul project for me and honestly, so many of my projects have become that. But I'm really enjoying it and I really love the concept of this. So I really feel like I can make some good strong progress on all of these shadows and yeah, so that is my short and sweet update for my panning solitaire. If you are doing this project, let me know. I'd love to check out your progress. I'm sure that you've gotten much further because you probably started at the beginning of the year like most everybody else. Also, please make sure to check out Erin's channel. I think that you would really, really like it. I hope that you are all having an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.